um, thing before or have you noticed this in your own life? So does anybody have a situation oh. where they want to share? Yep, I, I, got my notes. I, have a, <laughs> I have a funny story about Is this, that. Are you ready? Oh. Sorry to be incredibly messed up with this. Okay, go ahead, Amy. Um, just like I've probably told some of you this, a couple weeks ago I was in the kitchen with my husband and we were making something to eat. And I got a plate out to put my food on and I turned my back and I turned back around and he was using my plate. And I said, well, that's my play. He said, no, I just got it out. And I said, no, I got a plate out, and it's not here. But it's okay, but just to be clear, that's my play. <laughs> and he's like, okay, no, it's mine. And I was just getting ready to say, no, that's mine. And I hear ding, and the microwave goes off. And your plate's in My plate's in the microwave. <laughs> just the 30 seconds, I had forgotten that I put my plate in the microwave. And he looked at me <laughs> like... I told you so, and a little fear, <laughs> a little fear in his face. So I, so, I mean, I totally forgot. Okay. <laughs> Thirty seconds. Yeah. So I had to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> and we're laughing about some of that because that leads to the next question. What seems funny, and also a little anxiety provoking about this, and they want you to do this as partners. So if the two of you can just kind of partner up for three and. Um, well, Lindy and Jenny, you could kind of talk, but uh, what about this is funny, and what about it is anxiety? Uh, it's for you. <laughs> it's, it's this situation that I described? Yeah, um, yeah, your situation. Yeah. Or what funny. you just saw with it. Yeah, it's, it, it's funny because I have it only Until you saw the look on his face, it was like fear, <laughs> thinking, oh my. <laughs> yeah. uh, it was a lot. I mean, it was funny, but yeah. it was like, I think I think with all your kids and, and stuff, I didn't start with all your kids. Yeah, I It makes you wonder. Yeah, now I'm busy. It's not what we deal with. into our system, a stress hormone, and um, when you dump that in, it just seems to make everything a little worse um, because um, we then become more anxious throughout our system. So she talks about the breathing slowly after she did that. She had everybody um, breathe slowly. And um, so anyway, we're going to take three of those deep breaths, um, and that helps bring everything back down. So if we can just do that, let's so breathe in. Thank you very much. I needed that. Yeah. <laughs> and part of what happens to our family members is they don't know to do that. They don't even know to stop. They're just rushing right into it and they're already wired for sound and making often their, um, our patient more anxious about the situation. So that's kind of one of the takeaways I have with that. And then, um, let's see, I'm sorry I'm so technologically messed up, but let's see if we can get her to the next section, I don't know if I can drag it and we can get back on track or not. Maybe go to menu. Menu? Oh, but that just takes me back to the start of the section. Oh. I tried that. I know what you're thinking there. But sometimes I can get like a dragging thing and then I can get where I want to be in this. Oh, it's that little diamond all the way to the bottom there. It's kind of really a lot. By the speaker button. By the speaker button. This thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And that lets me drag, you think? Yeah. Oh, oh, it did. Go oh, on Okay. Oh, we lost our technology. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to say. We should have had you in on the France machine. No, I think I'm just. Where's she at? What should I need to 
pause to the, that's the phone call. It's the minutes I'm looking for is 4.59. Oh, close. You're very close. So
<laughs> Go ahead and do that so you get the feel of what it feels like when you're doing this. So you can already tell where I'm going with this. This is not a good one to start with because most people are not fond of the idea of starting an interaction like this. <laughs> and I do this particularly so you'll start to get the idea no touching until you've done a visual verbal and only then are you allowed to do the touch. you got to make sure they come together. So here's what we're going to do. Close your eyes. People with dementia, put your hands behind your back because I want you to feel incredibly vulnerable. That's what this disease does. It causes skills. And you thought you were confident. Ha <laughs> ha 
pause it right here and let's talk for a second. How did it feel different when you had hold of each other um, and you did the, what she calls the hand in her hand? Yeah. Less okay. restrictive. Less restrictive. Okay. And so you can see that maybe working with our patients and getting them in that kind of position um, is a little more comforting to them than reaching out to them and not having them involved in whatever the kind of movement is. Okay. And um, you talked a little bit about how it made a difference. Um, she's going to go on, and, and we're going to do some of those practicing. What do you think? Can we keep it going another five minutes or so? And, okay. Um, I I have. Well, we'll just go on.
about is levels of dementia and we'll get to that at some point and um, early on if these kinds of things are starting to be worked with then it just sets things up better part of what I think happens with us in hospice care is we come in and we come in maybe when the person is so far along and all kinds of things have been tried and maybe haven't gone well that we've already got a little bit of a wall. So I think it's important for us to get this to the aides who even see our home care patients and try to get it with the home. 